This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by ShireSociety.com. Join up and move to New Hampshire for more freedom. If you've watched me closely, you know I'm a big skeptic of the Libertarian Party, especially at the na national level. Not so much because they are ideologically impure, but more because they're just irrelevant. But I've become more and more impressed with the Libertarian Party of New Hampshire over the last three years for a series of different reasons, the latest of which is the continuing high level of activity by Gilletta Jarvis, who's running for governor in the, as a Libertarian, one of two Libertarians who will actually be running in a Libertarian gubernatorial primary in New Hampshire. Uh, best of all, the latest thing she's doing is one of those things that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't require her to win any elections. It's good all on its own. And let me tell you, well, I'll just read her press release. Quote, rally to bring attention to needed reform of DCYF. Concord NH, August 18th, 2018. Every year, DCYF receives more than 20,000 reports of suspected child abuse and neglect as well as reports of children in need of services. Join us at the State House Steps in Concord as we hear from parents and those who were children in the system affected by the DCYF and family court decisions." Unquote. I should point out here that DCYF stands for Department of, or I think it's Division of Children, Youth, and Families. Anyway, continuing her, quote, Speakers will highlight the need for reform. Add your voice to saving our children from abuse and neglect in New Hampshire. While this is a rally regarding family needs, speakers may be discussing examples of abuse, so please use your discretion in bringing children to this event, as the topic may be sensitive to some audiences. Gubernatorial candidate Gilletta Jarvis is holding a nonpartisan rally to bring attention to this issue. Donations will be accepted to support the Bikers Against Child Abuse, BACA, a volunteer organization that supports children in danger by escorting them to court and parole hearings as well as to school or guard them at home when needed. Donations are accepted via Eventbrite or at the rally www.eventbrite.com. The list of speakers will be announced August 5th. Speakers include parents who are fighting the system as well as parents who have won back their children. We are not posting their names in advance for their security. Unquote. So good on her for doing more than just running a futile campaign. She's taking the campaign and leveraging it into at least rallies for something more than her. I see her active, you know, on Facebook all the time. She's always got something going. Okay, finally, an LP has my attention. And it's not just her. A lot of other folks have been doing some pretty good stuff within the NHLP. I still have concerns, you know, about running as a libertarian candidate, but okay, I'm, I'm listening now. 2,000 liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying, actually, united we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com